Uh, Mr. Burgess. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's already been an interesting start to what's going to be a terribly interesting day, and I certainly appreciate the comments of my colleagues on both sides. We've heard the word urgent used uh, many times this morning. We've heard the phrase, this is as urgent as it comes. I would just remind my colleagues in surgery, we used to have a saying, please go slowly, after all, we're in a hurry. Uh, we also heard the call for bold action, and I support bold action. I would also just remind us that healthcare is not always about insurance companies, and it's not always about more government programs. Um, healthcare insurance, a federal program, doesn't do you a lot of good if you don't have a provider, a physician, to see uh, when you get ill. Now, we do face serious shortages in our healthcare workforce. We've talked about that before in this committee in the previous Congress, and I hope we can spend some time discussing that today, and several of the amendments that I will bring forward today will we'll deal with that. We all know the reasons. There's the barriers to entry, there's the cost, there's the lack of slots in residencies and primary care, but the most pernicious is the sustainable growth rate formula that knocks down physician reimbursement year over year in the Medicare formula, and until we deal with that problem, we are not going to build our physician workforce that we need. So time for bold action. I submit that there are several things we can do to the sustainable growth rate formula to make it go away or at least make it less pernicious and we ought to take that action today and I'll yield back. Thank you very much Mr. Burgess.